Capricorn, it's uh, March 2013, as if you didn't know that. Well, I thought I'd remind you, because I'm a little bit late, I know. But as I've been saying to some of the other star signs, astrologers also have to deal with things like retrograde Mercury, retrograde Saturn, which at the moment uh, is what's happening in the heavens, along with an amazing alignment of planets in your third sector. Now, your third sector is the what we'd call the superficial mind, your basic communications, short-term travels. With all of that energy there, um, it is a challenge for you, but I think it's going to work well for you. Your ruling planet Saturn is in a wonderful triangular aspect right now to this sector of the zodiac. And uh, in particular with the sun now, having just formed the triangular aspect, your sense of responsibility is a lot more relaxed. The way you're communicating should be more forceful rather than the so-called typical Capricorn way of, you know, biting your tongue and not wanting to say what's on your mind. Uh, that's distinctly changing now and for the better. Now, Mercury retrograde, this has a lot to do <laughs> with your ninth zone of travels, higher learning, education, also contracts and legal matters. So for those of you that are undergoing some sort of angst as far as your lawyer is concerned, my simple suggestion is get rid of him or her. No, I'm only joking. You need to be patient. There may be uh, some aspects of the case or this bureaucracy that you're trying to deal with that cannot be had just now. And sometimes you just can't force the issue. You just have to wait till that information is provided to you. I always say put it on the tin roof for a while. Uh, you, you just can't do anything about it. Better to redirect your energy. And I think that's going to happen very, very strongly around the 12th when Mars... This is your domestic planet, actually moves into its domestic sphere, first time in about 18 months. It's, a, it's an important transit, and it shows a lot more drive to complete matters at home. Now, I also get a strong flavor of construction around this. Of course, there's going to be a percentage of Capricorn individuals who want to build, to move house, to uh, make their fortune in real estate, that type of thing. These are the sorts of areas that are very, very strongly uh, augmented. They're strongly favoured for those of you born under Capricorn. And don't forget too that you are in a somewhat lucky transit having your ruling planet there in the 11th house of profits. And that's going to stay there for a while. It's retrograde, meaning uh, being your ruling planet, you yourself have a lot more strength right now. But you may be having some self-doubts. That's happening in the area of friendships, relationships, partnerships, uh, your, your peer group. You mustn't rely too much on them just now, and that's attested to by this Mars moving into the angle on the 12th. That's followed closely by the Sun. Sun is not your best planet. That can show debts and some sort of, um, a little bit of a letdown some, somewhat in the family area. Uh, but that's followed very strongly on the 22nd by the planet Venus, and that really is considered your best planet. It rules the upper angle and the fifth house, which is the future karma house. So a lot of good energy coming for your work. That's on the 22nd. Most of you will start to feel an upswing there. And how that works, I think, is yes, it'll bring you some financial benefits, but I think it's more important to feel satisfied in the way you're doing your work. Venus is, to a large extent, creative. It sort of sits on the fence there because it rules the very practical, earthy sign of Taurus but it also rules the intellectual air sign of Libra. So this is a lovely blend of these earth and air energies in the fourth sector, your domestic sphere, fully aspecting your career zone, which should start a new cycle there for your work at that time around the 22nd. Uh, just on the 27th, be a little bit careful. There's a very hard, what we call a right angle aspect between Mars and Sun. Uh, that brings with it some... Some problems, uh, maybe little mishaps or some injuries. If you're working out of the gym, don't overdo it. Uh, get adequate sleep, that type of thing. And we also see on the 29th uh, a very nice aspect between Mercury and the Sun. So the communications that may have been held up that I've talked about can start to move forward around that time. Please join me at the site. Astrology.com.au is the site. Uh, 1.6 million people a month can't be wrong. And, uh, of course, it's my little baby, and I want to share as much information as I can with you. We have our monthly textual analysis, as well as the daily readings. People come in there all the time for their daily hit. Why not join them? And we have our range of psychics there, the practitioners that are always happy to uh, make themselves available to talk to you about your personal issues. Uh, you can even get a brief 
introduction, no charge there. Of course, you'll have to pay the professionals, but you can get a feel for them first. Look forward to your company here uh, next month. Until then, I'll see you at astrology.com.au. Bye for now.